Okay, so for this server right here, I'm going to click on it, go to Configure, Fast Ethernet, Static. It's already set to static here, but i got to give it an IP address. 192.168.99 network, okay, dot 253. All right, and the subnet mask automatically goes in there, and that's good. All right, and so now let's take a look here. All right, click on command prompt here. Ping 192.168.99.254. See if we can ping the switch. All right. And there's a reply. The first one timed out, but the next three replied. And so I've been able to ping the switch. I made contact with the switch. We can double check this whole situation, hover over the server. You'll see that 192.168.99.253, and the switch is 192.management VLAN, VLAN 99. You can see it there at the bottom is 192.168.99.254. All right, and what's interesting about this is we're all connected to the switch. Normally, if you connected all these devices to a switch, they're all in the same VLAN and they can all ping each other. But now we have two VLANs on this switch. We've got VLAN 1 and VLAN 99. So the server here can ping the switch right on the management VLAN, but this PC will not be able to ping that server. right? So I can try just to show you the server. I put in the server's IP address and it will fail. Well, because it's on a different network, right? I'm on the 192.168.1 network and I'm trying to ping the 192.168.99 network and it's not going to work. All right. But it would work if I try to ping the other server that's on my network, the 192.168.1 network. And so I'll do that next. So that failed. So I'll just hit up arrow to recall that last command and I'll change this to one dot 254, which is the the DHCP server, and I get a reply. So that's an important um, lesson, and that is that we can't ping from one VLAN to the other on this switch. The only way we can communicate uh, from VLAN to VLAN, from VLAN 1 computers to this VLAN 99 server, is with the use of a router to route between the different VLANs. But we don't have a router here. We've just got a layer two switch. All right, it has no layer three capabilities for routing. So that's why that's happening. Okay, now that we have uh, management VLAN 99 and an IP address on our switch, and we've got a uh, server here that's on a 99 network and attached to port that's on VLAN 99, then this server should be able to telnet into this switch, right? You would think that that would be able, we'd be able to do that, okay? So let's try to do that really quickly. And we say telnet 192.168.99.254, and we try to telnet, and it says, it starts to say open, and then it says closed by foreign host. So why did that happen? Well, the reason that happened is that even though we're able to connect and ping to the switch, um, the problem is we have not configured Telnet uh, or virtual terminal access on the switch, and we need to do that. So we need to configure our switch a little bit more. So we'll click on the switch and click in here. And what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to do a couple things. So I'm going to do a configure T for terminal and just hit enter and that's automatically sees that it's configure terminal command and puts me in global config mode and one thing we're going to do is we're going to say line console zero and we're going to configure the console um, port uh, when we first log into the switch so say long line console zero that puts me in configure line mode and password Cisco and then the 
login command. And that puts a password on my switch for when we first uh, turn the switch on or reload the switch, we'll have to put in the password Cisco. That's the line console zero password. And now what we're going to do is we'll say line VTY, which is a virtual terminal, zero space four, and that'll set up five, uh, the ability to telnet into the switch on uh, five different terminals. And so line VTY, zero space four, and then I'll say password, oops, need two S's there, password, Cisco, and then the login command, right? And so now I've configured uh, Telnet on the switch. So let's go give it a try. So now I can click on the server here and open a command prompt, and then down here at the bottom, Telnet, right? Or you can even and put in 192.168.99.254, and boom. It says user access verification password. I put in Cisco, and I'm in the switch. There it is, switch two. So now I can actually run commands from this um, server. I've, I've at telneted into the switch, so right now I'm running the switch. So I could do a uh, enable command, and it says here, no password set. So, uh-oh. No password set, so I can't even do an enable command. Oh, we better fix that. All right, so back to the switch. And I'm going to do an exit. And I'm in global config mode. And I'm going to do enable secret Cisco. And that'll set up a secret password, uh, Cisco. So enable secret Cisco, that looks good. And now enable and password Cisco, and I'm in and I'm in privileged exec mode. Let's take a look and um, do a show run for running config on our switch. And you'll see here, we can just tab through. There's the enable secret that I just said for the enable uh, for privileged uh, privileged access. So enable secret five and MD five, um, and then the hash, right? And you can see here that interface fast Ethernet, uh, the port twenty three is on VLAN ninety nine, right? And you can see uh, the VLAN that we configured, interface VLAN 99, the IP address we gave the switch, and line console 0, password Cisco, and line VTY 0 through 4, password Cisco. So there's our, our configurations of our switch coming to us from our server because we telneted into the server. And if we're done, we just hit exit and we're disconnected from the switch.